Will loot anime redeem themselves after their last box? Find out here on... Konnichiwa minasan, genki desu ka? I'm Dave and today we are going to be unboxing loot anime theme enchant. So full disclosure before we get into this thing, loot anime had a couple issues with this month's loot anime crate thing. There was supposed to be an item in here from the anime No Game No Life, but apparently they couldn't fill enough orders to secure that item or something. I forget what the email says. But instead of that, we end up getting Roka no Yusha. So an item from the anime Roka no Yusha. And uh, right off the bat, I'm a little disappointed because I love No Game No Life. That's a very good anime. Roka no Yusha is not. I did not like that anime. I finished it and it, I thought it was bad. It was very bad. Okay, so before we get into unboxing this guy, uh, remember that I did unbox uh, last month's loot anime crate, uh, which you can see here. And if you remember, if you've seen that video, I did not like that crate at all. It had, hold up, I still have it. It had Attack on Titan bandages. So hopefully this must loot crate is going to be a lot better. So we're going to find that out right now. So first off, you have this anime eyes thing, loot anime box. Not bad, it's still kind of plain like their box from last month, but I can already see the first item is a t-shirt and it's from Roka no Yusha. So, okay, oops. You know, it's a lot better than the Akatsuki shirt in last month's uh, loot anime crate. So there's that. Um, yeah, let's try it on, shall we? Okay, I mean, it's not so bad. So right off the bat, um, even though I don't like this anime, I'd probably still wear this shirt. And uh, FYI, best girl, Fremi. The color scheme, I will say that the, the colors are really weird. Very, very weird. Um, all the... Lettering are their names, so you see Adlet, that's his name, Fremi is her name. <laughs> Let's move on to the next piece. Uh, I can see here that it is a scarf from the anime Fairy Tale. Now, I've never seen Fairy Tale, and I don't... Does the main character wear a scarf? Let me know. But... I do have to say, this is a pretty well-made scarf. Oh, and it's really long too. Nice and long scarf. It looks like if Spider-Man made a scarf, he would probably wear something like this. So here's the fairy tale logo. But this is not bad. I kind of like it. Even though it's starting to warm up here in California, uh, the scarf not horrible. So, moving on, we got a Kingdom Hearts pewter keyring keychain thing from the anime Kingdom Hearts. Oh wait, that's not an anime. <laughs> uh, with that said, I do like Kingdom Hearts, even though I've only played the first one. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. I mean, you can put video game stuff in your regular loot crate, but loot anime, come on, anime, come on, come on. All right, let's see what's next. Uh, we have a little keychain thingy here. I don't really know where it's from. I'm pretty sure it will tell me. So this is kind of weird. And we have a little pin from the anime, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? I do not recognize this pin. I saw the anime and I liked it a lot. I do, I do not know where this, what this reference is. <laughs> so, uh, another strange choice. Next up, we have sugar candy, Kompeto. Yeah, I, 
mm, anime, anime stuff, right? <laughs> I, I've seen these in anime before. Yeah, many anime. Um, you know what? Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Real time taste test, come on. Yeah, I've never tried these before, and I've, I've always seen them in anime. Let's see if they taste good. You know what? They taste like sugar candy. In fact, they taste like sugar. No flavor. Absolutely no flavor. Let's just uh, save this for another time. So up next, we have a card of Madoka that looks like fan art. Really nice fan art. Uh, it looks really good, but it doesn't look like Madoka from the anime. Let's open this up and see what it is. It is literally a piece of paper. It's nice. Uh, I'll, I'll just put it to the side. So with every loot anime of course it comes with an exclusive poster and another piece of art such as this from again I don't know this is just a random anime girl anime inspired character this month's theme was Enchant, and on the back it gives you a detail of everything, so there you have it. There's this month's loot anime, Enchant. Uh, as you can tell from the look of my face, I'm excited as hell. Oh, and here is the inside of the box. A little better than what it was last month's. Again, I, I do like the eyes. This is pretty cool. So there you have it. Would I recommend Loot Anime after their second month? I would have to say no. I would not recommend them. Though, <laughs> I do love this scarf. So I'll give them that. This scarf is awesome. This shirt, I will wear from time to time for sure. Other than that, it is, again, disappointing. A couple keychains that I'll never use, a pin that I don't recognize, a phone charm that I will never use, candy that doesn't taste good, and this, so. And again, ah, this is kinda strike two of my three month subscription. I probably won't renew. I guess this is a good time to kinda look at the things that I would like. Um, Last month, in December, Viewster and Omakase had a box themed for Kill a Kill. And that included a bunch of really cool stuff. Not a lot of them didn't exactly scream awesome. But one thing that did that was amazing was an exclusive hardcover of the first volume of the Kill a Kill manga. It, and, and it was gold foil. That is kind of the stuff I would like to see. I wish I had bought that instead, but I didn't because I bought a three month subscription to Loot Anime. And I'm kind of regretting that. I kind of wish I bought that. Um, those of you who picked up that Omakase box really lucked out because that scarf, that, that also did include a scarf of uh, Senketsu. And that was really cool. Um, but that is kind of the stuff I was hoping for, like actual exclusive stuff, not a manga with a stamp that says Loot Crate. Because that's kind of lame. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Omakase, like I said, it was hardcover, it was gold foiled, that was exclusive. You cannot buy that anywhere else unless you check eBay, people selling it. So I hope Loot Crate is listening to their fans. I hope people aren't just saying that, oh, this is awesome for the sake of being awesome. I mean, be honest, like, if there's stuff in here you don't like, let them know. They send a survey out and I definitely will let them know in that survey. But with that said, I do love this scarf. This scarf is awesome. The shirt is cool, but I still have a hard time recommending this to anyone because $30 a month is a huge commitment and the price goes down the more months you subscribe to but you got to commit more money too so I don't know so um, but if you did love all of this stuff let me know in the comments because I would definitely like to hear your opinion or maybe stuff that you would like to see in the future included in loot anime so that's it that's my unboxing of this month's loot anime box enchant 
Uh, stay tuned this weekend. I've got a couple more videos. I got a new showcase. I got a new unboxing. Also check out my last couple videos where I talked about instant pre-order for the Nendroid Ichi no Se Futaba and my last video before that where I talked about where I talked about my five most anticipated Nendroids for the new year. Again, I hope the anime has a better box next month or else I'm canceling my subscription. Until then, I'm Dave, and I'll see you next time. Johnny.